June and July went by in a blink of an eye. So let me show you why. Scrapping is live. <laughs> Let's get into it. The cover! We have gifts from scrap pals, trips, and bottle caps, pieces of nature, patches, creating my own stickers. Pretty much anything and everything goes right here on the cover. I hot glued twine and an old lanyard to the cover too. This is from a pickle jar. This is from my dad. This is from my boyfriend. A trip? Basically anything I stumble across or am given the front. Something monumental so far in June and July is that we broke a hundred in pages. I average about 14 to 20 pages a month, it seems, especially from June to July and July to August. That's about the average. This here is a future planning space with two invites attached. Can we just take a second? I had to add black to the temperature category because of how hot it's been. I'm thinking about starting a Crafting with Curly series. Let me know if you're interested in the comments. The back! Really, the only way to see the growth that I've done in these back pages is by comparing what it was to what it is now. So, pressed flowers. Wow, look at her go. Need a wall list? We're making it through. Business cards? I don't even have enough room anymore. Feathers? Whoa, we're about to fly away. <laughs> a couple of other new pages in the back include a vacation page, which, meh, not necessarily essential, but I had the pieces of paper, so why not? <laughs> and then I have an FYI page for just all those little bits of information I didn't think would necessarily go on the remember page in the front, and I created an Aldo page. Ironically, the little bumper is here. <laughs> The middle. And of course, June, why we're all here today. <laughs> Before June even started, I decided to create a bucket list. And so far, as you can see, I've done a couple, including magnet fishing, tent camping, and that's it. <laughs> but I do have plans to do the others before September 22nd, which is the first day of fall, so hopefully I get this entire list done by the end of summer. I also have an ongoing summer playlist here, so if you have a song to recommend, please do. I recommend Gypsy by Mosi, 23 by Shadow Child, and Long Time Coming by Kasi. And of course, many more. So for June, this is actually the second time I did a creativity chart. I did it in a different orientation than the first one, but I realized that I go through these patterns and how else would I have noticed this without this creativity chart? So I definitely recommend it yourself if you find that, huh, like this isn't working for me or this is and find out kind of the motions you go through. I find that at the beginning of the month for me, I'm very productive and at the end of the month, I'm very productive. Whereas the middle, I'm kind of just like sailing. We also have an activity tracker here that was really useful in June. I used it again in July and you'll see that it didn't pan out as good as the other month did. So overall for June and July, I've used the same exact formula for creating spreads and what that has been is coverage finding something to glue to the background or something to cover it up because I wasn't really looking to do much this month but I wanted it to look like I did a lot I also had my first pen pal which is the beginning of scrap pals the first one being my mom go ahead check out that video for scrap pals if you haven't already yet it's super exciting especially if you're one that's not really too sure of what to include in your living scrapbook next highly recommend having pen pals and including their scraps they send you into your living scrapbook the weekend I went to P-Town, I did a whole spread. And this is a really great idea for those of you that 
go on vacations quite frequently, taking all of those little bits of paper that you find along your journey and including them in one page or two pages and really kind of summarizes the time you had, you know? My life's <laughs> on. I got bit by a dog. It's okay, we won't get into it. I completed my first ever watercolor with this tutorial. This is the final result. Here, a cute grad card from my boyfriend's Nana tucked away in a piece of scrap paper from Pekin. Highlights this week include skating with a friend, scraps from my new patches on my overalls, training Aldo, transitioning to a home-cooked diet, And of course, the main bulk of June was my scrap pals, Zia, Julianne, Abby, and Maya. And then we have July already, and we're already done. Holy crap, where is the summer going? <laughs> uh, some of my favorite quotes for this July were, don't absorb criticism from people you wouldn't ask for advice. And where you are headed is more important than how fast it takes to get you there. Story. Forge, a lot of the beginning of the month, not much of the end of the month, whatever, that's fine. It shows, you know? Um, still pretty much every week I'm operating studio camera for a lively experiment, so that's what these little pieces of paper are here. And also for July I figured I would try out this one to-do list for the entire month. Didn't turn out great, it's fine, we're learning. Whole week vacation here, whole week spread. That's how it goes. <laughs> Another scrap pal. See, they pop up everywhere now. And here, this was the first time I did anything like this, but this is an actual brain dump. I wrote down all my fears, worries, anxiety, things I need to do, things I want to do, things I have to do. Wrote it down on all one piece of paper, and as soon as I did, the relief I felt was incredible. So, this is another basic two-page spread. We have our weekly to-do list on the right, and scraps on the left and throughout. Scrap pals! We have Taylor, Marie, and Amber here. Lately, so far over the summer, I've realized I haven't started my scrapping till Thursday, and the end of the week is Saturday, pretty much, so I'm giving myself really like a two-day window to get any scrapping done, so that's why I'm finding that I'm doing one page rather than double spreads. That's fine, it's saving me space in the end. Um, I went to P-Town again in these two months, so here's another memorabilia tourist scrap little archive you got here. I worked on set three times, but two times this one week, and that shows here with this spread, and another week spread. Um, towards the end of July, I've been realizing that I'm just kind of overwhelming myself. I have a tendency of that. <laughs> um, but it's all right. I'm figuring it out as I go. Another scrap pal, and then that's that. We have August already ready to go. This is significantly bigger than my other one already and we're not even we're seven months eight months into the year and it looks like I'm done already <laughs> it doesn't require much of you it just requires things that you have already you know just put them there on the page and you're good to go I'll talk to you guys soon I'm curly headed red please for the love of all that is all that is <laughs> please submit your Living Scrapbook at Living Scrapbook on Instagram. Otherwise, if you want to be Scrap Pals, P.O. Box information, and then if you want shell shoes, you know, if you if you didn't catch that yet, check that out. <laughs> um, but otherwise, live life scrapping. I know I will be, and take care.